Welcome everybody, Dave, ABQ Sports Cards. We are coming at you from ABQ HQ. It is Family Feud and Auction Mania all combined into one. It's going to be a lot of craziness, but we're going to see if we can get through this thing. Uh, if you have not been in, on an Auction Mania before, we uh, basically, it's like five cent Friday. Every card is going to be 99 cents though. If uh, you're the only one that wants the card, then uh, you'll get it for 99 cents. If it's uh, more than one person, you guys battle it out and determine who's going to get it for what price. Charlie Rogers in the house. Welcome, sir. Don't forget uh, Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time, we're going to be opening up this box of 2003 Topps Chrome. It is uh, by division, $24 per division on that one. And then Sunday night, we're going to be opening this box of Panini Crown Royale. That is $14.50 per pack. There's four packs inside. Two guaranteed autographs. Hoping for good stuff out of that. Robert Jenkins, 25 Perez. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, good luck, man. I found a few things. Not a whole lot. Mostly I've been just getting stuff off uh, the top side. Derby City, how you doing, brother? Hope you're doing good. And uh, Panini site, so we are cruising along. It is Auction Mania. It is Family Feud Day so far. Oh, Mosaic. I have not been able to find any Mosaic at all. I wish, man. We did good in uh, Mosaic Basketball, but uh, haven't been able to find anything else. Like, it's definitely getting gobbled up as soon as it gets on the floor there. So far, uh, Jay's Mix and Eric K. both have one win each. This time around, we are playing for this Ronnie Harrison Leaf Metal Draft on-card autograph. That is numbered five out of seven. Adam B. is here as well. People with the wins in the uh, month of October get qualified for that card. Person with the most wins at the end of the month. Right on, right on. Glad you are on the road to recovery, sir. RTS and Bobby C. also have one win each in ABQ Family Feud for the month of October. Kids go on a fall break starting tomorrow. It's like a two-day fall break. It's not very much of anything. Ember Moon making her NXT return tonight. So any WWE fans? Karshar Chris is a huge Ember Moon fan, so I know he'll be excited about her coming back. Uh, Dodgers Padres played last night. Lakers and the Heat played last night. Big night for L.A. sports fans. If you are not a fan of those teams, uh, I, I, I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not because my team's won. So. Uh, a lot of people not happy with the way LeBron's been acting. That's kind of how I felt about him when he was with Cleveland. Oh, man. Yeah, my, uh, my mom had one. A while back and uh, she lost feeling in her hand and yeah Dodgers and Fuego man so hopefully things will get better for you Derby City sorry to sorry to hear that sir hopefully you and your family are good otherwise all right we are about less than four minutes away from starting ABQ Family Feud Jay's Mix in the house one of the leaders for that Ronnie Harrison, Leaf Metal Draft Card. We are cruising along here. 2003 Topps Chrome Series 1 is what we're opening Saturday night. $24 per division. And then 2013 Crown Royale Sunday night. Two autograph cards guaranteed in the box. Four autograph and memorabilia cards combined. I think we got four autos in the last one, if I remember right. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's uh, It can happen, though. Anytime, anywhere. You just never know, man. I am thankful you are still with us. It's tough, bro. You just never know. People that are in the best shape and the best health and 
something can happen to them or if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen you just never know when it's gonna be that's the that's the scary part about life you just never know man you can walk out your door one day or not wake up the next morning just I uh, appreciate all of you being here with us. Uh, maybe no big Kurt. I think he had a procedure today, so hopefully he is doing well. The best thing is that you quit smoking right on. Yeah. You have a whole new diet, too, by the way. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got uh, Auction Mania. And Family Feud. We're combining the two of them today. So we're looking forward to that. We'll see how we do with this. Uh, we're going to do some auctioning between the rounds. A couple fast money rounds. I'm running out of Family Feud cards. My wife might have found a few more so we can make it go a little bit longer. But we'll see how long this is going to go. I thought we were going to be done... A while ago, but then I ended up finding the quirky family edition one, and we were in, been playing that time. That's right, time. Oh man, Jay's mix. How we missed you. Uh, this means war every Friday morning. Myself and Carshard Chris Blaster War. I've been working overnights. Normally, everybody uh, Trivial Pursuit. I tried Trivial Pursuit. Nobody. Got the answers, man. Everybody was super mad that we were doing Trivial Pursuit because nobody was getting the questions. The Reds VP stepped down today. Not a surprise. Not a shock at all. Bill O'Brien getting fired, GM and coach of the Texans. Dwayne Haskins getting demoted. I think that was a bad move. He hasn't been playing exceptionally bad. He's got... Almost 1,000 yards. He's got five touchdowns and three interceptions. Yeah, it was Star Wars, I think. We'll try to find a non-themed one for everybody. We can try a Trivial Pursuit night, see how it goes. Uh, let's see, uh, maybe Trivial Tuesdays, if I can find a Trivial Pursuit that's not themed. I think that the Fast Facts were fun. Everybody had fun with those, I think. But, Stoney, welcome, man. Uh, let's see, Haskins had five touchdowns, three interceptions. He's doing a lot better than a lot of other quarterbacks out there, and yet he gets the boot. And they are starting Kyle Allen this week for the WTFs. He is still around. He is not giving up control of that team anytime soon, too. Uh, Lions, we were talking about the Lions. We were talking about the Falcons on uh, our show today about how they need to just dump everything and just start over. I think it's time to end the Dan Quinn, Matt Ryan era. I'm going to sit on my, uh, on my bench and have my Prove Me Wrong sticker or banner. All right, we are doing ABQ Family Feud. It is fast money time. Everybody gets a chance to answer to play round one. Steve R., welcome, man. Steve R. was doing a live test earlier. Got to watch him eating his dinner. It was fantastic. High quality entertainment right there. Tampa Bay with a three-run home run up four to one. Derby City with the update. Appreciate you, brother. All right, here we go. Four answers on the board here. A chance to play round one of ABQ Family Feud and try to qualify for that Ronnie Harrison autograph. What superhero power would you most like to have? That is the question. Surveyed to 100 people. What superhero power would you most like to have? While we do the rounds, that's when we're going to do the, uh, the auction mania. That way, anybody not playing will have a chance to not be interrupted or bothered. And uh, hopefully, we'll keep you guys entertained while these guys are playing their rounds of family feud. Oh, man. Give everybody a couple more seconds here. What superpower would you most like to have? Four answers on the board. Robert Jenkins, I thought that was already one of your superpowers. Darn it. 
<laughs> flexible. Oh, man. The answers are, are flying out here. All right. Here we go. Last chance to put your answer down. Yeah, I don't know about Invisible Man. Everybody remembers the joke between Superman, Wonder Woman, and the Invisible Man. So I don't know about that one. All right, here we go. Answer number four is teleport. The ability to teleport is answer number four. Answer number three is telepathy. These are not the droids you're looking for. Answer number three was telepathy. Answer number two, I saw a couple of these. Invisibility. Apparently, the big theory on this is that there's no such thing as pure invisibility. I think it's uh, phasing is what they're calling it. Otherwise, you lose your sense of, uh, of depth perception, I think, is what the what the scientific term for it is. And uh, answer number one is flying. Flying was the number one answer. I know I saw some invisibilities. I don't know if I saw any flyings on there. Plow Charlie Rogers had flying. 25 Perez had flying. There were flying on there. 25 Perez, Charlie Rogers will get to play round one. ABQ Family Feud. Welcome, gentlemen, ladies, if you're watching on the replays, because I don't know if there's any watching right now or not. Big shout out to uh, Titan Cards. If you guys aren't checking them out, 10 months, they have 10,000 subscribers. I need to wear some skimpy outfits and show my boobs a little more, I think, to get that many that quick. But uh, great channel. They do a little bit of everything. Check them out. Make sure you're checking out Steve R. He is super close to getting uh, 100 subscribers. And uh, we're actually going to do a segment where we do probably like weekly news type stuff and a shout out to channels that are under 1,000 subscribers. These guys are working hard and they want to get paid by YouTube. Even if you never watch their stuff, at least sub into them to help them, help them support their families. Just helping each other out, I think, is what we're doing here. All right. 25 Perez and Charlie Rogers. I don't know if I saw the thumbs up. If you guys are ready, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're ready. 25 Perez is ready. We got two things on here. One, two, three, four, five. Five answers on the board. Already got it set up. Appreciate you, Bud Stoney. Bud Stoney all over it, man. Instagram, Facebook, eBay, YouTube. Make sure you're checking them out and hitting that subscribe. All right, 25 Press. Charlie Rogers may have hopped out. I don't know. Charlie Rogers, last chance to let me know you're ready to play round one of ABQ Family Feud. Paging Charlie Rogers. Charlie Rogers to the reception desk. Your party is waiting. Oh, man. That would have been great. That's a, that's a scary one, man. IV in the neck. My veins always pop out, so they have never have a problem finding mine. I remember a couple of the kids... Had, uh, I think mine earlier on had rotavirus. And she had to be in ICU for about a week. And they could not find her veins for anything. It was the worst thing ever. I will say I knew, I now know Cinderella top to bottom. Because she wanted to watch that thing over and over and over again. Uh, Charlie Rogers looks like he's not here anymore. Boom, do it, brother. So we're going to go to the next one that had the next answer. Let's see. It was invisibility. Did anybody have invisibility? I know somebody did. Derby City did. Adam B. put invincibility, which is just a good one as well. But Derby City, if Charlie Rogers doesn't show up here, you're going to be playing against 25 Perez. So we'll give him a second here. 
We'll do a few cards here. We'll get through this stack. If Charlie Rogers doesn't show up, we will have Derby City versus 20, or 25 Perez. So we got Willie Castro out in archives. Trout and Otani. This is 99 cent auction mania. Every card is 99 cents. If you just get a couple cards, it's just a dollar for shipping. If you get more than a few cards, it'll be three fifty if you want them right away. Otherwise, it's a dollar if you can wait for a full envelope of cards. Mauricio Dubon, double N, Justin Dunn. We got some of the Chrome minis as Stefan Tuit, mini tops Chrome rookie card. Tory Smith for the Ravens. Devin Street for the Cowboys. DeAndre Hopkins. These were 2014 mini tops chrome. And Keyshawn Vaughn. We'll end it right there. Keyshawn Vaughn on a gold leaf draft. All right. Derby City, 25 Perez playing round one. ABQ Family Feud. Adam B says Hopkins. I like the Hopkins. Hopkins. They're so cute. They're like little mini cards. I like it. And they're chrome. Adam B. wanting Hopkins. There we go. All right. Round one, ABQ Family Feud. They asked 100 siblings, name an activity that could keep you busy together for hours when you were younger. Five answers on the board. 100 siblings surveyed, name an activity that could keep you busy together for hours when you were younger. Twenty by Press says video games. We got a flashback of Aaron Rodgers, same 2005 draft. Thomas Duarte rookie card. Jacoby Brissett rookie card from Score. Derby City versus Twenty Five Perez. We'll give Derby City a few extra seconds to answer. Brandon Allen out of Arkansas rookie card. Video games and TV are the answers. Uh, one of them is on the board. Steve R., which answer do you think is on the board? One of them has an answer on the board. Only one of them does. Which one do you think it is, sir? Video games or TV? Both are good answers. I thought both of them would be up there. And it is a number one answer, too, by the way. Oh, it is video games. Video games is number one. I would have thought it was close. They're both good answers. And they both would have kept entertained for hours. Video games is the one. 25 Perez gets a choice. You can pass or play four more answers on the board. We're going through auction mania here as well. Brandon Allen. 25 Perez says playing outside. And Gen X getting it done, playing outside. Answer number four. That would not be a now generation answer because everybody's scared. Board games is on the board. That is number two. With 23 people saying that's so almost even right there with video games and board games. Two answers left on the board. Brandon Allen. Kevin Biggio, Archives. Sam Hilliard, Rookie Card for Archives. Bruce Dar Gratterall. Sheldon Noyce. 30 seconds on the clock. 25 Perez. We got a Color TV, Dustin May, rookie card. Vladdy Jr. Eason Diaz. Chores. Not on the board. Damn, bro, what kind of chores you got, man? Keeping you busy for hours? Uh, slop the hogs and... Uh, Dustin May for Adam B. I like these, man. 
I know the the old school cards used to do this, and I think that's what yeah, 1955 is what they're going for on that one. Dustin May for Adam B. School not on the board. That is strike number two for 25 Perez. Derby City start thinking of an answer. He gets another strike. You'll get a chance to steal that thing. Easton Diaz. Tony Gonsolin. First Bowman Chrome of Chris Valamont. Question is, name an activity that could keep you busy together for hours when you were younger. 100 siblings surveyed on this one. Mini Minoso. Very nice. Nico Holsizer for the Rays. First Bowman. Miguel Vargas. A road trip. Not on the board. That is strike number three. Derby City. With a chance to steal. There is Nico right there. First Bowman Chrome. Adam B. picking up Nico. Derby City gets a chance to steal. Let's see if he can do it. Two answers left on the board. Miguel Vargas for the Dodgers. Damon Jones. Vargas for Adam B. Okay. Vargas. Riding bikes. Riding bikes is not on the board. That would have been my answer. I rode my bike everywhere and for hours. But I don't know. Like all, all my brothers and sisters were older by the time I grew up or by the time I came around. So they weren't around for that. But um, anybody else want to take a guess? 100 siblings surveyed an activity that could keep you busy for hours when you were younger. 25 Perez gets that round and gets the choice. One, two, three, four, or five from the giveaway envelopes. Sports, going to the movies. Damon Jones is next. First Bowman Chrome. These are cards that were going to go on eBay or probably going to go on eBay. And that's what we're auctioning off today. Alvaro Sejas. Ruben Cardenas. First Bowman Chrome. I don't know why this does this. So far, I see one answer that would have been on there. I don't think I would have got this other answer either, though. Bud Stoney, you, 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 you remember that meme with that kid where he's all, I effing love coloring, and he's all doing it? it? That's my favorite one, man. Coloring on the board. Coloring and building blocks. I don't know about building blocks. Curtis Elliott in the house, man. Wiffle ball. Wiffle ball is so fun. Kickball was my thing, not wiffle ball. Kickball. Love me some kickball growing up. All right. Round one in the books. 25 Perez. One, two, three, four, or five. We got envelopes set aside with two cards each in them. Twenty five Perez says number one. Legos. Oh, Lincoln Logs, man. I'm so old I remember Lincoln Logs. They were horrible, but for some reason the parents always bought them. And it was there, so we got stuck playing with it. All right, here we go. Number one. Two cards in here. First one is going to be an NBA Hoops. Donovan Mitchell from 1819. 425 Perez. And card number two is a Marlin. That is a 2018 Christian Yelich from Series 1. Christian Yelich and Donovan Mitchell. 425 Perez. Just going to write it down here. So I remember to put those aside for you. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the stream. Haley Deegan fan, right on. We're going to have some NASCAR stuff coming up here pretty soon, actually. I bought a few things that are NASCAR related, so we're going to be getting those going. So welcome to the channel. We are playing ABQ Family Feud. Family Feud, except with the subscribers here. 
You don't have to be a subscriber to play, but you're more than welcome to. Right now, we just finished round number one. We are on to round number two. We play two regular rounds, and then we do two more fast money rounds after that. So right now, we are going to be doing another fast money round to determine who's going to play round number two. Everybody gets a chance to answer. Only your first answer counts. The first two people with the highest answers will play in the round. Bunch of answers on this board. What would your mother's superhero power be? That is what they surveyed 100 people. What would your mom's superhero power be? We're also having 99 cent auction mania. Every card is 99 cents. If you're the only person that wants the card, that's how much it's going to be. If more than one person wants the same card, you guys figure out who's going to get it for what price. If you only get a couple cards, shipping is only a dollar. If you uh, don't mind waiting till you have an envelope full of cards for me to send you, shipping is just a dollar. If you want the cards right away, shipping is three fifty. Ruben Cardenas, John Diaz, first Bowman for the Rays. Aaron Ashby for the Brewers, first Bowman Chrome. Ulrich Bojarski, first Bowman. And Baron Laura. That's the card everybody's been looking for with the autograph in uh, a lot of the stuff out there. First Bowman card for Laura. All right. Answers on the board. I knew Adam B. would want Laura there. These are all cards that were going to go on eBay. I'm giving you guys the chance. I have so many cards waiting to go on eBay that... I give you guys a chance every now and then to pick some up before they go there. Laura for Adam B. Answers on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven answers on the board. Number seven is X-ray vision. I know I saw that one. X-ray vision is answer number seven. Answer number six was the superpower of worrying. I don't know if that is a superpower or not, but that's one of the answers. Answer number five was the superpower of annoyance. <laughs> it's funny. Annoyance is, a, I guess, a superpower. Be super annoying. Answer number four is kindness. Number four would be kindness. Answer number three would be funny. Answer number two is the ability to multitask. And answer number one was the ability to read minds. We'll take Curtis's answer as reading minds, as he said, psychic powers. That is close enough. 25 Perez is close enough. We'll see if anybody else has anything like that. Adam B. Steve R. with ESP. That is the answer. Uh, telepathy is also... So Steve R. versus Adam B. is what I am seeing. Yeah, sorry, Steve. I'm scrolling up, so I'm seeing the answers like from last to first. Took me a second to get up to yours. <laughs> Adam B versus Steve R. Round two, ABQ Family Feud. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're ready. Only two answers on the board on this one. So really, I'm going to give you guys both a chance to get an envelope because I should have looked at the card before I pulled it out of the box. They asked 100 adults. Only Steve R. and Adam B. are playing. They asked 100 adults to name the amusement park ride that best represents their teens. This is a dumb one. If you guys get this one, we're just going to... You guys, we're, we're, we're going to play We Are the Champions for you because... John Duplantier, Roy Oswalt, Tops Chrome, Victor Victor Mesa, Roller Coaster. You guys are the champions because that is the number one answer. Roller Coaster is the number one answer. 56 people saying that. I would never have been, I would never have said anything so vague as Roller Coaster. So you guys are awesome. 
There is one more answer. Adam B got it first, so he gets a chance to pass or play. Victor, Victor Mesa. Khalil Lee, Bowman Chrome. Adrian Morjan. Adam B gets a chance to pass or play. He had the answer first. He's going to play. Only one more answer on the board. Another Easton Diaz. Tops Archives. Another Vladdy Jr. A Utes card. Shohei Otani, Gold Cup. Merry go round. Not on the board. That is strike number one for Adam B. Only one more answer up here. There was only two on the board. If he gets to three strikes, Steve R., you'll have a chance to try and steal. Nick Solak, rookie card from Archives. Tom Brady. That is from 2020 Prism Draft Picks. Yeah, the Archives one is pretty sweet. I like the uh, Stadium Club one as well this year. Tom Brady on an 18 Contenders Draft Picks. Thurman Munson on a rainbow refractor from uh, Tribute. And that is an older tribute. That is 2002 Tops Tribute. Big meat for the for archives. They were going to go on eBay, yes, sir. Adbert Alzale. Another Nick Solak. Ferris wheel, another one not on the board. That is two strikes for Adam B. Yeah, there's a bunch of cards lined up, so tilt to whirl, another one not on the board. Steve R. Chance to steal. One answer left on the board. Richie Martin, I'm kind of in a pause for putting stuff on eBay only because um, I'm waiting for top loaders to come in. I'm on like our last pack of top loaders here. I'm trying to save those for breaks and stuff like that. So um, I do have an order in and they're supposed to be here, but everything is back ordered right now. So waiting for top loaders to come in is uh, what's going on. Steve R says bumper cars, bumper cars not on the board. Anybody want to take a guess as the adults were asked to name the amusement park ride that best represents their teens? Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and smash that like. Smash it. You heard the little lady. One answer left on the board. Adam B., I think uh, everything's here but number one. So five, four, three, or two. Fun House is the next one. Ah, the Gravitron was it for me, man. I don't know why I love that thing. Anna B says four. Anna B says number four. We got a haunted house. We got the fun house. It was Space Mountain. Oh, Space Mountain, another classic. Star Tours, man. I remember when that thing opened. Good stuff. Yeah, Gravitron, man. The best. Turn it upside down, hoping the ride didn't stop before uh, you got right side up. Oh, uh, a uh, teal explosion of Justin Jackson from NBA Hoops 1819. That's what they had going on that year, teal explosion card. No number on it, but it is a parallel... Adam B. with the win. We're going to Justin Jackson for Adam B. Next up is a pink A.J. Brown from Panini Prism Draft Picks. A.J. had a great rookie year planned for uh, the Titans. Haven't been keeping up with him this year, though. I don't know how he's doing, but great rookie year. All right, Steve R., 
There are only two answers on the board, so we're going to give you a card. Three, two, or five. Which one would you like, sir? And let's see what we got here. We got a Christian Walker rated rookie card. Alex Gordon Elite. Danica Patrick. That is from 2017 Donner's Racing. Number five is what Steve R said. Number five. All the cards in the giveaway envelopes were cards that did not sell on eBay or we got as extra cards from our eBay purchases. Varejo on a yellow complete parallel for Steve R. And last card is a gray parallel scorecard, Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey. So Steve R. If you have not sent me your address before you can send it to uh, abqscandc at gmail.com dear man welcome I'll put it on the screen here for you that way I know where to send the cards when it's time to send them out Parejo normally for the free stuff I'll wait till you get a full envelope and then I will send it to you There's Danica again, 2017 Donruss Racing, and a throwback to 1981, Greg Biffle. All right, time for two fast money rounds. Ah, you're good, man. We just finished uh, the two rounds of ABQ Family Food, but we still got two more fast money rounds. We're not done yet. We've been going over superhero powers, but we're on to a different question this time. Everybody gets a chance to answer. Fast money time. Name a food you eat with your hands. Name a food you eat with your hands. Andy N., welcome. We're combining ABQ Family Feud and Auction Mania. Other uh, Family Feud games right on. Kevin Biggio, Stadium Club. John Means. Dakota Hudson. It was a can of dog food. You be ill in. Yamaguchi rookie card stadium club. Anthony K. Zach Gallen. Clayton Kershaw. Adrian Morjan. And another Adrian Morjan back to back. Indy racing. Man, it's been a while since I've watched IndyCar. Uh, all right, answers on the board. There were five answers. Answer number five is Curtis Elliott's favorite. Chicken wings. Winner, winner, chicken wing dinner. Answer number four are hamburgers. Hamburgers. Answer number four. Answer number three is popcorn. Answer number two is tacos. The Rock likes tacos. And answer number one is pizza. Pizza, the number one answer. Derby City has pizza. Deer Man has pizza. Everybody had pizza. Andy N, Adam B. Looks like Adam B was first. With pizza, so Adam B is going to win fast money round. Car Shark Chris, welcome, man. This is uh, fast money round number two. We'll have one more to go. Adam B with pizza before everybody else. Two or three. Kurt is finally learning his lesson not to get super hot spicy foods. Two or three for Adam B. Adam B says two. Two cards in the box, in the envelope here. This is a rookie card of Harrison Bader. 2018 Tops, Series 1. Harrison Bader going to Adam B. 
And card number two is a Gypsy Queen of Nelson Cruz. All right, one more fast money round before we get out of here. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us tonight. We'll probably do more Auction Mania tomorrow night, and we'll open up something here as well. Looks like we got a gold leaf draft of Justin Herbert finally getting into the starting lineup here. Yes, Buff? Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos and like. <laughs> Good job. Justin Herbert, there we go. I think these kids have zero faith in me letting you know any of that stuff because they keep coming up and saying it. Justin Herbert. Andy Dalton reflections on an orange from score with Carson Palmer. Alex Collins rookie card. Ronnie Staley rookie card. And another Jacoby Brissett. All right, last fast money round. Here we go. Yeah, a couple of teams were hoping he fell, I think, a little further than he did. But it was no shock that uh, you want Herbert and Danica. Okay. Boom. Eric Kay in the house as well. All the All-Stars are here today. Appreciate you guys. Here we go. Six, five answers on this one. Name something that is known for its size. Robert's Anaconda don't want none. Oh, name something that's known for its size. There's Jacoby Brissett again. <laughs> hey, Zach Collins, rookie card, blue frame from Diamond Kings. Mauricio Dubon. Kevin Harvick, rubber relic. Nice. Class rookie card. Zach Collins from Archives. A big league Juan Soto character card. Miles Mikolas, Future Stars. Aaron Judge, Tops Fire on the uh, promo card. National Baseball Card Day. Brandon Lau, Future Stars. <laughs> hey, Bobby C., welcome. Go Rays. Speaking of Go Rays, there's Brian O'Grady. Rookie card for the Go Rays. Robin Yount, Turkey Red. John Means, Gold Cup. Ryan O'Hearn on a Utes. Grayson Rodriguez, Bowman Chrome. Alex Bregman, Bowman Chrome. Pete Alonzo, Utes. Ares Arena, rookie card. And Gonsolin, again, finishes it off. We're going to have more Auction Mania tomorrow. Answer number five was the Grand Canyon. Name something that's known for its size. The Grand Canyon, answer number five. Answer number four is a whale. Is a whale the best? One of the best jokes I heard was they, hello ladies, and I, or hello English. I, I'm going to ruin the joke. Never mind. Answer number three is the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, we'll do more tomorrow. It was more for the family feud and to have something to do between the family feud. But we'll do more tomorrow. Answer number two is Texas. Texas is the number two answer. And answer number one is an elephant. Elephant is the first answer. There we go. Boom. Elephant number one. I know I saw Texas on there, but I don't know if I saw an elephant. I've seen a horse fly. Adam B. wants Ares Arena. You got it. I've seen a house fly. I ain't ever seen an elephant fly. All right, who we got here? We got... Anybody? I'm 
Oh man, that's a lot. Big, big way to scroll up there. Grand Canyon, Statue of Liberty, Big Daddy Shrek. <laughs> Texas, Andy N with Texas. I think Andy N, nobody said elephant, so Andy N's going to win in the last round of ABQ Fast Money. So that is number three. That's all we got left, Andy N. Hotbox is here. What? Isn't it past your bedtime? Thank you for staying up late. It is uh, after dark with Hotbox and the crew. Appreciate you all being here. <laughs> this is for Andy N. Last two cards here. First up is a Vladdy Senior Donruss Elite. Back with the Expos is this guy. Generations. That is from Donruss 98, I want to say. Yep, 1998 Donruss. Vladdy Junior or Vladdy Senior, wow. Next card is a gray parallel complete of Derek Favors. Boom. There we go. That's going to do it for us. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. You guys are awesome. Thank you all for stopping by. And this is going to be our normal break night starting in a couple weeks now that I have uh, Tuesday and Wednesday off. So look forward to that. Uh, Saturday night, 2003 Tops Chrome Series 1. And Sunday night is going to be 2013 Panini Crown Royal. So look forward to seeing you guys then. Have a great night. Stay safe. And we'll see you again later.